A day after hundreds of supporters of Francisco Franco protested at his burial site, the plans to exhume his body, Spain's socialist government said the former fascist dictator's remains would be removed from the iconic Valle de los Caídos and soon. Responding to suggestions from Spain's director general for historical memory that Franco's relatives could scuttle the socialist plans, infrastructure minister José Luis Ábalos on Monday denied the existence of any sticking points with the Franco family and said the decision had already been made and would be promptly implemented. The removal of Franco's remains will require reform of Spain's law of historical memory, which was originally approved by the government of Socialist Prime Minister José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero, who held office from 2004 until 2011. Zapatero said on Monday that the fact that the current government was seeking to establish a legal basis for the move was reasonable, and said he was convinced that it would be done well, while dismissing the anti-exhumation demonstrators as belonging to an established minority that should be free to protest but not be afforded too much importance. Pablo Casado, one of the two contenders to lead the right-wing popular party, said on Monday that he wouldn't waste a single euro on disentombing Franco and accused the government of polarizing Spanish society. Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez had previously said that the removal of the dictator's remains from the mausoleum and their transfer to a location of his descendants' choosing would occur in the month of July. What to do with the Valley of the Fallen, a massive reminder of the civil war and the brutal dictatorship that followed it, has been a constant concern for governments since Spain's return to democracy after Franco's death in 1975.